Hello, Zebra Herd. Today, we begin an epic adventure across the land and skies of Hyrule. Just like with the Breath of the Wild, we'll be playing so much of this game, so be ready for a ton of episodes. After years of waiting, it is finally time to get started with The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Nintendo presents The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Oh man, I can't believe it's real. It's been so many years. Oh, and it's starting just like the reveal did, right? Walking through the cave and everything? Oh, spooky. I'm scared, can we go back up? <laughs> I wanna see daylight. This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. I could have guessed that part, but good to be confirmed. All right, whoa, do we get to play right now? Whoa, so we could talk to Zelda too. Hi. Beneath Hyrule Castle. I never imagined that this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. Whoa, is there anything behind us? What happens if I try to leave? All right, good luck, princess. Link, has something caught your attention? Whatever it is, we can plan to look at it on our way back out. Let's continue our descent. Ah, oh, <laughs> can't just leave her here. Well, that's probably a good thing. We spent the whole last game trying to save her. Can't give up on her just now. But whoa, it's glowy in here. It is so cool to, that we get to sort of, you know, play the game straight away. And we have our two full sets of hearts here. Can I climb up stuff? <laughs> I have my full set of stamina. So we really are just starting off where we left off in the last game. Whoa. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going with it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But. I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Ah. Let's go solve this mystery. This is so cool. I really hope that we get to do things as a team in this game. Now, Link is usually all on his own, or at least has some kind of companion, but it'd be so cool if our partner was Zelda this time. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I don't wanna run off without her, I'm so excited, but can we, can we talk to her some more? When I was a child, I asked my father if there was anything below the castle. He told me there was though seeing it for ourselves or even discussing the matter was forbidden. No one in our family knew anything more than that. Oh no. And of course, I'm the kind of person when playing these kind of games, if you've seen the original series, I really like to take my time, talk to all the characters, really get a full breath of the game. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's exactly what I plan on doing. We'll wait for Zelda here, but whenever I get the chance, Link. Uh-oh. Did I run off too far? Are you okay? The Master Sword. It's glowing. Huh. It must be sensing something. I knew we had a reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. <gasps> we must be careful as we move deeper. Well, it might be a little bit, oh, we can swing my sword too. <laughs> That might be a little bit of a problem because it's been so long since I've last played. You know, the most recent time I played Breath of the Wild was my last episode of that series, so it's been years. I might be a little rusty to start off, but... Ooh, Link, look here. Oh, what is that? It's like a fallen shrine or something. These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these ruins be... From the Zanai? 
That's a new name. The Zanai. Can we talk to, to you some more about that? I can recall my father said, even now, no one must ever venture beneath the castle, not even one of us. He said this warning had been passed down through my family for as long as anyone could remember. It's so scary. Oh, look at this. There's even more. Maybe I'm still running ahead too much. These carvings. I'm sure there's an eye in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. <laughs> She's taking the picture at the Sheikah Slate, that's cool. The Zanai are said to have lived long ago, in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zanai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. Huh. So this is really our first hearing about the Zanai. I don't think they're really brought up in Breath of the Wild at all. We need to continue to explore this underground area, forbidden or not. The source of the gloom is down here somewhere. And let's keep going. <gasps> Those statues there. Whoa. Very tall. Is this what the Zanai looked like? They seem so different than us, and such large ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. All right, let's continue. So yeah, we are going deeper and deeper down. I don't want to run off the head of Zelda too much, but I, but I get too excited. I just, I can't wait just to play more of this game, but there's even more of these Zanai statues. And ooh, this area. Whoa, we got keys. I'm gonna slice you away. There we go. <laughs> Luckily, the Master Sword deals with them pretty quick, right? Awesome. You are not hurt, are you, Link? I think we're fine. Whoa. Look at these murals. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. I don't like the sound of that. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this. It shows the Demon King, and a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> if the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Oh. Incredible! This mural must be the Great War recorded in the Royal Histories! This is the Imprisoning War, and the events that led up to it! Link! This is a huge discovery! So exciting! <laughs> but also sort of scary! Alright then, now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. 
You point it and click. Oh, oh but that one's it covered looks up. It's like the rest of the murals are obscured. Oh. Well, maybe we could help with that. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. So I guess for right now we can't destroy more of those rocks. I figured if we could use the bombs we had used in previous, you know, the previous adventure, that might help out, but we can talk to Zelda again. Uh -huh. I can't tell you how excited I am. The murals down here, their images support so much of what historians have written about. I can only imagine. Uh -huh. See, I don't think I can break this open right now. But still, hopefully at some point maybe we could come back down, give it another go. Uh and whoa. Things are looking a little spookier in here. It's all red and stuff. I find myself wondering, how did this area come to be so forgotten? Why was our history left hidden there? Did the royal family in those ancient times want this place and these murals to remain secret and out of sight? Maybe. There has to be a good reason the Zanai have been kept so secret. Especially seeing how they play such a key role in the development and the creation of the Kingdom of Hyrule. All right, was well, not too far behind. I don't want to run off without her, but she definitely does not run as fast as Link does, but we can go all the way down here. Whoa. Oh my, what is that? It's so colorful. Something isn't right. What is this place? Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. Uh, okay, oh, we can log it? What is logging it to you? Uh, oh no, I guess it just sees, okay, that's just our text log. Gotcha, that's good to have. What is that? Whoa, that is scary. I don't like it. That must be the old demon gang. Oh, it's moving. Oh, I don't like it. We broke something. <gasps> oh no. I think we just made a big mistake. Uh, no, it's coming back to life. Watch out, Zelda! Oh, Link's defending you. Okay, here we go. No, our hearts! We need those! All of our hard work for the last game is gone! Oh, no, his arm! And the Master Sword! Everything is falling apart. Oh, no. Link! Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Zelda. You who carries that fragile sword, a link. Raru placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? Oh man. What is he doing? He's pushing it up into the to the roof. Oh, this is how it happens. This is how the castle gets pushed up into the sky. No way. It's not the whole castle, but it's most of it. This guy is so powerful. Uh, but maybe it's all done. Goodbye. Oh, the link is really hurt. No! Oh, 
Oh no! Where did she go? Uh, the hand saved us? What is with the hand? There are so many things going on right now, but none of it is good. I know, and all the villagers too. We were just getting back to normal for Hyrule. What is with this? It's very glowy. So is this from the hand that just saved us? I think so. Whoa. Thank you for that. I don't know why the hand saved us, but I guess it was fighting the Demon King somehow. That's how we walked in on it. Oh, whoa. It attached itself to Link's damaged arm. You okay, buddy? We look like we're in rough shape, but... Hey! That's new. Uh... I guess it's better than no arm at all. Link, finally you wake. Who said that? I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Wait, is it... Is the arm talking to us? Oh, the sword. I mean, it looks all right, but we saw it shatter. Guess we should go check it out then. Uh, oh yeah, it's only the top half of it. Oh no. What are we gonna do without this? A sword needing of like an upgrade or a fix or something. Decayed Master Sword, the sword that seals the darkness. Its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. And we can see it in our inventory. Very cool. All right then, so, can't really do much with this, but I guess it's better than nothing. And look at this, I, I'm sure we can still use it to attack. We can press Y to swing the sword and break through all these vines and stuff. Should we take a look around though? Is there anything we can maybe find? I know it seems silly in such a beginning beginning area, but you never know with this game, you know, where you might be able to find something. So if we could take a look, just to make sure there's no like hidden treasure chest or anything like that, because like I said, <laughs> Breath of the Wild was riddled with secrets all over the place. So I just, if I can even just try to look for stuff, it'll probably be pretty important. But whoa, what is going on in here? It's like an old shrine. Uh. I guess we should put our arm to it, right? What did that do? Oh. I'm not sure. Whoa, okay. Looks like we turned a couple of things on. So maybe this works as sort of this game's Sheikah Slate? Instead, it's just a arm. Huh. Guess that might be a little bit more convenient. So that opened up the door, but is there more we could do? I mean, obviously, we lost out on some things. We lost on our health, but we also lost out on our stamina, and we can't really climb surfaces like this anyway. So I guess we should go this way. Ooh, okay. Um, and I can jump from here, get into the water. Ooh, nice. Can we dive? I don't think we can dive, but we can dash through. I don't see anything on this side, so let's run back over to this side. And we're good. Okay, very cool. And of course, we'll need to climb up too. 
Which we should be able to cash on of that stuff pretty quick. Since we did play the full, the full, you know, first game. And I guess we're jumping back into the water. Still just looking around behind me for anything cool we could find. Took us a ton of time to find, oh my gosh, what a jump. All right, hold on tight now. Ooh, landing in water even from a great height will prevent you from taking fall damage. Good to know. All right. Yeah, we, we found as much of the arbor as we could in the very first game, Breath of the Wild. It took us a ton of time, but speaking of which, we do have a treasure chest here. We can use our arm to open it up, and it has archaic legwear. Simple, classic legwear. They're well-worn and sh showing their age, but they've still got a good few good years left in them. It can be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps. Okay, so we can open our inventory to equip weapons, armor, and other gear here. So here's our archaic legwear. We can just go and equip that in. Yeah, it looks a lot better. We get at least a little bit of defense from this, so that's always good. Okay. Where are we going now? I think up there, right? So maybe if we, or maybe we're not going up here. <laughs> maybe I'm looking at this wrong. It looks like I might just have to go through that one doorway. But now I'm really curious. Is there anything up here? I don't think so. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. We can head out of here, go into this doorway, and whoa! We're, we're making our way out, out of the cave at the least. What a view. Okay, very shiny out here. Whoa! Look at this! We are so high up! I don't know what to do with myself. Am I really supposed to jump here? Uh, where are we gonna land? Do we even have our glider? I, I don't think so, but whoa, you can see the top of a volcano. Oh man, we are back in Hyrule. I can't believe it. Let's go. Uh oh. I guess we're going. I can't believe it. We are finally going on our adventure here in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. There's so much to do, there's so much to see. And I, just, I can't wait to go on it with you guys this whole adventure. Look at all the different environments. Some of which are new, some of which are old. I think the full sort of world of Breath of the Wild is still here in some ways. You can see a dragon in the background too. Here we go. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Man, this is crazy. And we're still falling by the way. Don't forget about that, uh oh. Uh, we can accelerate too. Whoa, we can really fall. Ooh, nice. Well, even from a distance like that, we're still okay. Now we're on the lily pads and stuff too. So I guess I could maybe try to jump over to the next one. I didn't do a very good job. Uh, I guess we have to get to the surface over there. Climb up here to let our stamina restore just for a second. Man, this is crazy. The Great Sky Island. So cool. So let's poke around here a little bit. Wait a minute, I want the stick. The tree branch. Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. All right, so select a weapon. Equip or take a weapon out from your inventory. So we could either press and hold the right stick or select a different one. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, okay, like this. Got it. So it is a little bit stronger than our broken or decayed master sword. Good to keep in mind. Looks like we have some more of those around. And of course, other collectibles like over here, we have the sky shroom, a common mushroom that grows near trees on sky islands. Eat it to restore health. I'm sure I will. And of course, weapons do decay. I'm sure just like they did in Breath of the Wild. So we'll have to be careful, that kind of thing. Ooh, we got some apples too. Uh-oh, whoa, there's an enemy already? What is that thing? Uh, oh, it's got a tree branch too. <laughs> whoa, okay, your tree branch is badly damaged. That's not good. Um, any attack that causes a weapon to, to break becomes a two times critical damage. Okay, good to know. Let's try this again. Oh, hit you a couple more times. There we go. We got whatever that was, and we get ourselves an apple, a common fruit eaten by people since ancient times. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effect. We destroyed whatever you were, and we get a soldier construction horn, a blade-like horn from a soldier construct. It's very sharp, so handle it with care. And a Zonai charge. So were they Zonais, or maybe just some kind of robot made by the Zonai? 
a material used as a power source for constructs and other devices. Its strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. I think that's what it is. It's a robot from the Zonai. So we could climb up on this tree and just grab more apples from it, which is so useful. Definitely gonna be able to make the most of those later on. Let's take as many branches as we can. And this is where that robot came from, right? What else is over here? Whoa, little stone. Oh no, it's a wooden stick. A tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Sure, I think I'm gonna do that right now because it's definitely the most powerful thing we've run into. What's up on this little table? <laughs> Not much. But man, everywhere we turn is a beautiful view of some of the crazy things we might be able to explore soon. But I think for right now we should maybe just go the other direction. I know I'm loading up on tree branches, but you'd be surprised with the more enemies we run into, how quickly I'm sure things can degrade. And just any other materials we can find along the way. Crouching increases your stealth, making it easier to sneak up on foes and animals. It's definitely useful. I don't know if that's an enemy. Uh, hello? What is this thing? Uh, it looks like a broom. A little broom symbol? Uh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, it doesn't look very friendly. Or maybe it is friendly, I can't tell. <laughs> it sorta of looks cute. Hi. Oh, steward construct. Link, I've waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. The Sheikah Slade. I definitely need that. This is the Pura Pad. Okay, maybe not quite. <laughs> I'm told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. It's a little bit different than the Sheikah Slate, the Pura Pad. All right, well, seems a little familiar. The Pura Pad, Princess Zelda's prized device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Use the features of the Pura Pad here by pressing the minus button. I received it from Princess Zelda. I've now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. Whoa. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Whoa. Well, maybe we can help out with that. We could at least be one visitor. Find Princess Zelda is our new main quest objective. And we take a look at the map. I guess we can see that. So, whoa, look at this. This is sort of the current map we can explore, but you can see there's much more to the game than just that. But if we zoom back in, here we are at the Great Sky Island. There is a lot to explore just on this beginning spot, but this is where we can find Princess Zelda. I can open the adventure log as well. You found yourself on a strange island in the sky after you awoke. A steward construct claimed that Princess Zelda gave it her Pura Pad, all to get it into your hands. The device map shows a yellow point of, of light. The construct said that that's where you'll find the princess. Well, let's hope so. This is the Garden of Time. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting for you at the location on the map mark found on the pad. Okay, very cool. I mean, I guess we could hear more about the uh, Garden of Time. Okay, let's see that really quickly. Uh, yes, this is the Garden of Time. The structure visible to the north is the Temple of Time. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Apologies, I cannot help but reminisce. Head to the indicated location, take care as you do. All right. Oh, the music here is so relaxing already too. Got some sky shrooms over this way, and another tree branch. Uh, you can throw a pin in your hand, so we can yeah, hold it like this and give it a toss. I don't wanna do that quite yet though, uh, because that will damage it. I wanna make the most of these while I can. So let's just try putting our arm up to this one. Ooh, here we go. So will this maybe fix this bridge? Looks like it. Wow, okay. So whatever this hand is, really gonna be a big difference maker. Let's get across then. 
And it looks like there's another one of those friends over there. If your stamina wheel runs out, you'll be able, you'll, you'll be too tired to do certain actions until it fills up again. Okay, let's take some apples. I'm just gonna jump for these ones. <laughs> Makes it a little bit easier. Oh, and I can pick up this pot. Give it a, oh no, oh, oh, okay. Well, that's not the way I meant to toss it, but I can toss a couple more of these. Ah, your behavior is a threat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, are you okay? Hello, you seem to be new here. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. Soldier constructs? Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zanai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser too. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. So of course we can lock on with ZL, pressing and holding. Uh, you may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. Okay, so yeah, we can just target you like this and that's how we can attack a little bit more easily. But we're not gonna do that, we promise. But I can also swing one of these to break these open, get some more apples a little bit easier. And it looks like that's it for over here. I think that we can grab more tree branches, but we gotta be filling up on inventory soon, I can only imagine. Oh, this one's sort of uh, beat up. But we do get another Zonai charge, a material used as a power source construct and other devices. I think we've already found that, so we've read the description already. Let's head over here. because so we're trying to get to the temple time, right? Something like that? Well, I guess we can dive whoa, way down here. I have a feeling that we'll be doing a lot of exploring throughout this um, Sky Island. Well, can I catch my first little froggy here? I don't know if I can catch up in time. Oh, they're gone, they're gone. Okay, <laughs> let's not drown. Let's get out of here. Of course, we'll be catching tons of things. We'll be using for recipes and all the sorts. But right now, oh no, here's another one of those enemies, which you'd think I'd wanna avoid them, Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, right? You wanna get into the action, especially with our stronger sword here. We're able to use that tree wooden stick thing, of course, to uh, make the most out of things. So we'll get some more stuff here. Soldier Construct Torn, the Zonai Charge. I think I'll throw this branch. I don't need it. Boom, and <laughs> it broke. So we'll get ourselves another wooden stick out of that. And another Sky Shroom. Whoa. It's so misty around here. Very messy, it gets a little hard to see, but we are getting closer to this temple. We'll keep to the main path for now, for sure, but it will definitely be a part of our goal to re-explore more of this later on. Oh no, one of them has like a new sword. Uh oh, I, one of them has noticed me, the other one? Oh no, Uh, I guess they've all noticed me now. They're alerting each other, which is not so good. Got it, got it, so I knocked out one. And there should be a way to yeah, jump out of the way. Oof, not the easiest thing to do though. Yeah, okay, watch it. That was pretty good actually. Oh man, now it's just me and you. Here, it's badly damaged. If I could, boom, just throw out of you like that. That definitely hurt. And then I can jump, slam, right now, wrong button. Oh, there we go. Awesome. And we also get a new long stick. A long stick fashioned from a tree branch. Its straight shape makes it work as well as a lunging weapon. Very cool. Well, I definitely want to keep that but I think I'm full in inventory again. So we'll throw another tree branch out that way. Grab this and uh, some more soldier pieces. Okay, very nice, very nice. Can't carry any more melee weapons. So I think once again, throw a tree branch. If we don't need them, might as well toss them. Somebody else will find them, maybe for another adventure. Pretty crazy though. So we're finding new weapons, taking on a bunch of enemies, only getting hit a tiny bit. So that's always nice. I mean, I'll grab some more apples over here. So. Got it, got it. And we're hopping back in. Am I going the right way? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get to. So, seems like we are. Oh no. Oh no, I think you're one of the good guys. Yeah, you are. Looks like they're cooking with a fire or something. So, we'll say hi to them in just a moment. What's with the platform? I don't know if that does anything. Got some more apples. How are you doing? Hello. Were you lured in by the delicious smells? I assume so. Ingredients are especially fragrant when roasted by a fire. They may also be tastier and more nutritious. I would not know. You were roasting them? Oh, you are unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain ever anything that first time visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. 
I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. You have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. So yeah, if we were just to use apples, oh, we get ourselves a new one, Toasty Sky Shroom, a simply grilled Sky Shroom. The heat brings out its flavor, increases the amount of health it can restore. So usually it's just a quarter heart, but now it restores half a heart. Um, and we can do the same thing with an apple, of course. So what we can do for right now is just go to our inventory, I think. Well, I could, yeah, go like this, and I think I could just drop it like that. And that should, as you can see, it starts to smoke, starts to smoke, and Oh, it turns into a baked apple. Direct heat has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart instead, of course, of just half a heart, I suppose. So that can be pretty nice. Can I drop multiple? Just so that we can cook up a couple of them just in case we need it. All right, ready? One, two, three, and four. There we go, we got four baked apples. Pretty nice, where did our friend go? Up there. Well, maybe they have new things to show us? That's so cool that they're moving around doing different things. Hi. You're welcome to warm yourself by the fire. I encourage you to roast any ingredients you have brought with you. Okay, so I guess they don't really have anything new to say. You're welcome to visit again. Very cool. So they're just sort of walking around, enjoying their time here. I can't blame them. What a beautiful day. But uh, let's head back over this way. And I guess head our way up the staircase. I don't like really see too much more we should be prioritizing at the moment. Gotta see Princess Zelda after all, she should be up here. Maybe it really will be that easy. The staircase is very falling apart. Might be a little difficult at times to get to the top, but luckily we can climb no problem. But there's still so much more of this island to find out that way, whoa. Whoa, okay, Temple of Time, here we are, and with a new enemy, this one has a shield. So this might be a good opportunity to try our long stick. Um, what's useful about that, of course, is that when they're trying to go in for an attack like that, I can just jab them and sort of make them miss. Oh, there you go. The only problem with that, of course, is that they hold up the shield, that can be an issue, but also in general, it does a lot less damage, okay. There we go, they're damaged here. Let's go in with one of these. Ready? Oh, that's gotta hurt. Very nice. And we defeated them. They also dropped a bunch of stuff, right? Um, Over here we have a rusty broadsword. This once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but also breaks quickly. And over here we have the old wooden shield, an aged, worn out wooden shield. It can withstand lighter attacks, such as arrows. So of course we definitely wanna equip a shield. Oh no, I already have it equipped. And then over here, let's also equip our new sword, the rusty broadsword. A little bit more damaging than the wooden stick. Raise your shield. Block when using a one-handed weapon. So we can go like this, and if any enemies you know, try to do anything to us, we can lock it to some degree. I think there's a button to like bump the shield a little bit. I don't really know. Uh, we can pick some of that stuff up, and it looks like there's maybe different ways like the different parts of the island from here. We, it doesn't seem like we have our glider anymore, which is sort of a shame, because that's you know the most fun part of the game. So hopefully we can get that later. Right now though, I think we're good to just head up this way. Like I said, I really take my time through these kind of games. Um, a lot of people seem to enjoy it when I played the game like that in the first one, but uh, let's examine this. Whoa. So we've run into a couple of these. Each one has sort of done something. Uh-oh, access denied. Why not, though? Uh, what gives? That door will open only to those with sufficient power. Ah, who are you? I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. Oh. I am Raru. Hi. Raru, source of the right arm. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. 
You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, oh, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Ooh. So I guess there'll be shrines to explore here too. So exciting. The shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. All right, well, I'm on it, Raru. So it looks like we at least have a game plan here. While we can't go into the temple to save Zelda quite yet, we can go and figure out the closed door. Awesome. Open the adventure log. Your adventures will be detailed here. And you can see this, the closed door. When you tried to open the door to the Temple of Time, Raru appeared and said he was the original owner of your new arm. He also said you need to revitalize the arm so the power of its touch will open the door. To do that, visit the island shrines. A green light spirals above each of them. So it looks like we have a lot more stuff on our plate to do. We'll explore more of the Great Sky Island as we complete some of these shrines and eventually open this door to save Zelda, right? Maybe it's a much shorter game. We'll find out in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.